Dun, 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 dun. Welcome to the Healthy Conscience Podcast, where a healthy conscience helps you be health conscious. My name is Lynn Lee, and I am a registered dietitian. My name is Vince, and I am a registered co-host. Oh, yes. I am also the other co-host. You are? Oh, I am. You're the, the host main, host. You're the main host. Main attraction host. I'm a second host. <laughs> I'm a side host. Just make sure you say that st part, because it won't sound right if you don't. <laughs> I'm a side host. <laughs> Good. That's how I like that. Because yeah, the other part doesn't sound right. Oh. Anyways, how's it been, Vince? Uh, it has been good. It, how about yourself? It actually has been really good. I mean, there's been like a roller coaster of emotions these past few weeks continuously. I feel like everyone goes through these roller coaster of emotions, but I. Is that are you going through roller coaster of emotions or uh, feelings yeah. of anxiety and stress? Well, sometimes, but I've come to realize that uh, I just gotta stay off of uh, social media, <laughs> right? Because it's like my day will be going like freaking rainbows and butterflies, <laughs> literally, because there's a ton of butterflies in, my, in the backyard, a ton of butterflies, a ton of chirping birds. Yeah, and then I pull out my phone, and it's like, ah, ah, ah. So, like, the other day, one of my coworkers, we have this thing. She's not a dietitian, but then we have this thing where we both like pineapples. I like all, I mean, if you look at my set, I have a pineapple there, I have pineapple there. But I like all things food-related. Mm. Um, it's not exclusive to just pineapples, but pineapples was my original love. Okay. But she tagged me in like this super cool and it's from target um backpack a cooler backpack and it was a pineapple and i didn't check my social media because it was like kind of crazy to look at and kind of be a little bit stressed out about because you just see all of the propaganda that's going on you see one person saying one angry thing and then another person saying another angry thing and then you see someone say something really nice are you trying to say that because uh, angry social media, you missed out on this this pineapple backpack. I sure did, because they also had it in a watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> it was only twenty dollars. Oh, I was so mad. I was like, so damn it. Because social media is stressful, it made it even more stressful because you you dismissed it and missed out on a sale. Yes, I missed <laughs> out on a product. Oh, but um. Anyways, I have been seeing like back to that thing about like um, a lot of people being nice. I've noticed like the the, uh, the opposite ends of the spectrum where some people are really angry and mm -hmm. very mad and very like cruel in a way, like kind of attacking people for no reason. Because I also and I think you follow the same pages. I started to follow like local, like within the neighborhood things. Yeah, yeah. And then so I see at first I followed them because I was like, oh, so many like it's uplifting because so many people are trying to support each other, trying to be kind to one another. But more recently, I started to see really sour and bitter people on there and like creating like drama within yeah. these social media groups. You no, know what's funny is like I feel like people are like in this like angry mood right now to where anything no matter what it is it's negative to them it really is it's like like I, like I saw someone literally post like nobody died today this is outrageous and I was like, <laughs> wow what do you mean like isn't that a good thing <laughs> yeah. so a few weeks ago i saw like it was around earth day somebody did like a really beautiful like thing of rainbows but it was out of balloons and it was just like to and they put it outside their house and just took a picture and posted it and said, hey, check this out. It's just to kind of uplift you, make your day a little bit brighter. Yeah. So it was a kind gesture of that. But somebody had to go in there and be like, how ironic you did some non biodegradable balloons that will never disintegrate and kill this earth on earth day and i was like seriously <laughs> that is not i'm like i agree with you but at the same time she was trying to be like uplifting like why didn't you respond in a more uplifting way like 
I don't know. See, this Make is a suggestion. Why, like, I can't be friends with like old people on Facebook. <laughs> like old people on Facebook have a lot to say. They don't understand <laughs> social media, or, or they're like little kids on social media. <laughs> like I feel like, I mean, obviously there's those random kids that you went to high school with that will like barge in out of nowhere and like write something stupid in a post. Mm-hmm. That's old people. <laughs> It's like, I don't even know you, lady. Why are you telling me? Why are you friends with a strange lady? No, like, you know how, like... um, Oh, in these groups? No, no. no. Well, yeah, in a group. In in the groups especially, there's a lot of older people. Mm -hmm. So I'm, even though, you know, I'm 32. We're both 32. Excuse me. You didn't have to expose my age just now. I'm 32. You're you're unidentified age. Um, uh, We're like the youngest people in these groups. Maybe. So like, I mean, most of the people, I mean, they got wrinkles and gray hair. I got wrinkles and gray hair. Mind you, my gray hair is purposeful. Right, maybe, maybe they're the you same. You got gray hair. Maybe they're the same age that they just look hella old. Okay. Maybe they're those kids from high school. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, we'll like, like, they'll just, they'll just be trolling. I mean, I don't even think they know that they're trolling. They're not. They don't know they're trolling. They're just like they just have an opinion and they just want to give their opinion and i'm like lady nobody asked for your opinion mm-hmm. like so I've, I've seen someone post like what's your favorite restaurant here and then like someone will this lady will like come in on there hella angry about like i've lived here for 50 years and i've never tried anything outside of my celebectrum celebectrum isn't this like a good post for you because people are posting their favorite restaurants yeah and she's just like hella angry i'm like <laughs> what are you angry about lady like I feel, I feel like that post, it was bad because in the back of my mind, I don't know if I'm referencing the same one, but there was one where someone was like, where should I eat? Post up what your local restaurants that are like mom and pop shops that we need to support right now. Um, and then I remember going on there and posting like some of my favorites, but I was like, man, somebody out there is going to go and be like, oh, why would you say that place? You should have said this place. This place is better. What you're talking about there, Dan Dan Man? Well, this place has better Dan Dan. I'm like, oh my God. For that to even go on in my head, I didn't follow up to check that thread to see if anybody posted anything against what I said, but. It's there's bad al- that that's even a thought. There's also a lot of in my head. like older, like this also goes back to the old people being like, like little kids. <laughs> like a lot of these older people don't like, they say it really offensive things mm-hmm. and don't realize how offensive they are. It's like this group, you're in an Asian neighborhood. <laughs> so most of the restaurants are going to be Asian. Food. Someone was just like, oh, I hate Asian food. Can't there be anything else here, but Asian food. I'm just like, uh, you're Actually, I have seen that. <laughs> I was like, whoa, maybe you should keep your opinions to yourself, lady. Maybe you should just go to the McDonald's. Yeah, just stick to your, your McDonald's and whatever else you, you're used to. So one of the things, um, thinking of like random acts of kindness and random like uplifting things, um, McDonald's was giving out um, free meals to healthcare workers. And that in itself really did brighten up my days. Yes, I'm a registered dietitian. Yes, I eat at McDonald's on occasion. And it was free. Why not? Yeah, Um, I'd be against like my religion to not go there. It was like literally, well, I think it was like thank you meals or something like that. Yeah, it's the thank you meal, like a happy meal, but thank you. And it was in a little happy meal. really brightened my day. It was pretty cute. It was. And then there was a little note inside that said, thank you for what you're doing as a frontline healthcare provider. And I was like, my goodness, these little things really do brighten people's day. And by the way, the employees were extra nice. They really were. I, I don't know if I've ever been treated that nicely at a drive through before especially well, at like a, a large major chain drive through well t- recently we really haven't gotten out to eat much or gone through many drive throughs but the couple drive throughs we went to that was the happiest yeah well, the other one that we did go through recently we at our hospital got a another random act of kindness a very uh I don't even know who it was an anonymous donation of in and out burger. And we got in line, the in and out burger um, trucks lined up at our car parked at our hospital. It's like a food truck. It was a huge, like just an in and out burger truck. And then um, we got in line, but then we kind of switched off. And I think our team waited for several hours, like two hours or something. And we couldn't get it. So then we went, 
back. And then I think our manager reached out to whoever was managing that and kind of messed up or whatnot. She just told them like, hey, we didn't get anything. My team did X, Y, and Z. And then they, to make up for it, gave us gift cards for In-N-Out. So In-N-Out was another place we went to. That's um, pretty cool. Yeah. So that was very, very cheerful as well. I think like randomly I came to my desk after working in my clinic for several hours of very stressful, like several hours. I come back and a little gift card was on my desk and I was like, oh my God. Hmm. Just random acts of kindness. You know what I noticed? Like you see a mixture of people mm -hmm. in public. The other people we're talking about are in online, so they don't count. But people in real life these days mm -hmm. are a little bit interesting. What? Like you got the like I mean it's just like social media, but you got the super angry people. Yeah. That don't want nothing to do with you. I'm thinking of some a situation right now, but go ahead. And then you got the super like happy smiley people. Oh, huh, that's us. <laughs> I want Is to it? think. I don't know. <laughs> but like the couple times that we have grabbed food or coffee or whatever. Uh, there's been a couple times where we went to the cashier and we're like, hey, how are you doing? And the person just like doesn't say nothing. Yeah. And we're just like, uh, okay. I feel like, I think I told you the other day, you dropped me off so that I can run in to grab coffee. And then I came back out with the coffee. And I kind of told Vince, I was like, the cash register, the barista was like very receptive to me. And he was like, what do you mean? I was like, I said, hi, how are you doing? And he was like, oh, 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 oh hi. Um, yeah, I'm good. How are you doing? It's as if people no longer like have common courtesy, regular etiquette to just say hi to people. Yeah. Especially because we're all wearing masks. Like you can still be kind with a mask on. I think it, I feel like it, it kind of just goes back to that thing where I think people are still like, like they're, they're, they're told like, like they're so caught up in social distancing and all these other things that they're like, if I talk to somebody, they might spit on spit on me or something. Spits on spit, me. Spit some words on me, and I might get I get real sick. Or Let something. me spit some wisdoms on you. So like even at especially at the grocery store, I see so many like really like angry grocery store workers. Oh yeah. And it's I mean I I I don't like I'm not mad at it because I, I feel, feel bad I feel for bad them because they probably get abused. All, all day. day. They're probably like, where is this? Where is that? How about this? And how about that? Yeah. I want this. How could you run out? When's the next time it's going to be back? There's Hurry. no toilet paper. It's your fault that I have a dirty butt. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross. But use water. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, there's like, uh, there's that side. And then I went to I had oh I, we I had to like return something so I had to drop it off at Staples uh -huh. and they have like a little drop off section mm -hmm. so the girl in there is like super happy like yeah. hey sir how you doing would you like a receipt with that and I'm like yes I would <laughs> but yeah I feel like um, people don't remember to just be kind to each other just because you now have a mask on doesn't mean you can't make eye contact with one another. I think it makes things a little bit more awkward because I even notice it myself. If I smile at someone, I usually make eye contact with them. I smile at them, but because you can't see my smile, it just looks like I'm looking at you. You got to add a wave. That's what you got to do. But now I actually verbally say it. I'm like, hi, how are you doing? Oh uh, yeah. So at first I was like, Oh, I'm smiling at people and people were just kind of like, the heck is she you know what the at? quarantine has done? Huh? It has turned the whole world into uh, all those stuck up people from hiking in LA. Yes. Yes. I don't know how many people I say hi to in LA while hiking. Mm -hmm. They don't say nothing to me. They, they even mug me yeah. and, and walk faster. Yeah. There's been a time where you literally went out of your way, smiled at this couple the entire time. And as we pass cross paths with them, you said, hi, how are you doing? And then the guy was just like, mm. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I've been grunted at so many times I while hiking literally was like, Vince, don't say hi to people anymore i did I, they don't deserve it out of spite i say hi to people out of spite <laughs> nowadays i don't know I i'm feel just like, trying to brighten up their day yes and then i think recently have you seen any random acts of kindness 
Uh, I mean, I, I just stay at home all day. So. But I mean, like on social media or anything like that. Um, trying to think. I mean, I've seen a lot of people, um, like kind of go out of their way to do something nice for somebody. Uh, I'm trying to think of something specific. Have you seen anything? Well, being that I'm still working and then we do get a lot of donations from the community. And then, um, the other day, this was really cute. We got like, um, a bag of goodies from college students. They're uh-huh. just, it was like this one gallon Ziploc bag of like a bunch of snacks and Gatorade. There's like Gatorade, grandma cookies, Mott's, um, what is that? Mott's candy, uh, the, oh, candy, the gummy candy. Oh, okay. And then. I thought you were talking about applesauce. No. <laughs> and then there was like a bag of Folgers in there and then there's raisins in there and then there was a ton of things in there. I can't even, there was even Hall's cough drop. <laughs> <laughs> and that one was random, but it made us all giggle. I just thought of one. Wow. Um, it's not an act of kindness, but it's someone that just kind of is making the best of the situation. Mm-hmm. And so this guy, his daughter is a senior in high school. So she, they had to cancel their prom and cancel the graduation. So um, he threw her uh, a prom at their house Uh and so like he um he made like he decorated their house and their front yard um like to have the like prom sign Uh and then their whole family got dressed up like and then the dad is the date oh and so so then they like uh he he even put like uh led lights in the um garage Uh and he like he was the whole family's dancing in the garage with the the daughter that's so cute so like he i was like man that's pretty awesome he like even though it's a, a crappy situation he just made the best of it you know like making the best of it is really what you could do right now i'm what where how worse could we be i mean all we need to be is that grateful that we're all alive still Yeah. at this very moment. I mean, that's all, that's all you could do. Like you could do, you have two options. You could be angry about it and like ruin, like pretty much ruin your, the next couple months of your life. Yeah. Or you could just enjoy it and like make enjoy something good. Enjoy it and make, get through it. Learn something. something new. What, what kind of something new? Cook your kids a meal for the first time ever. For the first time in forever. Burr. yeah <laughs> you could, cook you something could, yeah learn learn how to cook something learn how to uh we made something recently that i was like whoa i can't believe we just made that what was it bread yes <laughs> yeah, we make we making so much bread these days vince is making so much dough i'm like oh snap yeah stacking this dough he's the breadwinner in this house yep <laughs> I got no money, but I got bread, son. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got 99 problems, but a sourdough starter ain't one. Uh, I don't know if that one works. <laughs> Andy Vase. Right now, honestly, being kind to one another, it might be out of like discomfort, but I feel like it's something that we need to do to kind of bring back just human kindness and remembering that behind that person that's wearing a mask also they're struggling. So yeah. we never really know what is going on and why. And if we just simply like smile at someone, maybe it'll brighten their day. I feel like the the whole um, pandemic is turning people into like socially awkward people. Yes. Like it's like being by themselves for so long, they lost all social skills. <laughs> but I mean, it makes sense because... I feel like as humans, we need social interaction. Mm -hmm. And like right now we have like fake social interaction. Mm -hmm. Like you're just commenting on their social media. So people are like longing for social interaction, Mm -hmm. but they don't know how to do it anymore. I think that's exactly what it is. It's like, I want to interact with people, but at the same time, should I interact with people? Can I interact with people? Are they going to get me sick? What's happening? Yeah. But I think it's just reminding yourself how can i do something to maybe brighten someone else's day yeah keep in mind that uh, niceness is not being quarantined right now niceness is not being quarantined right now oh you could spread niceness you could spread niceness you could spread kindness you can yeah. spread niceness another thing that i saw that people were doing or one of my coworkers was doing was she was sending out like handwritten cards and letters to her family and her friends and 
it's just so, I don't know what it is about, I don't have good handwriting, but I don't know what it is about reading like a handwritten note that's just so sentimental and it feels very nice to just read a card or a letter from someone. That's true. And it's not very difficult to do that. If someone printed something for me, I, I just throw it away. Really? Yeah, I'm like, this This is meaningless to me. What if I typed it up and it was like typed up from the heart, but I just have really bad handwriting? Mm. Questionable? It wouldn't, it wouldn't you would throw same. my letter away? I wouldn't, I would read it, but I wouldn't like be, I wouldn't be a smiley. Oh, really? Yeah. What if I use a, a lot of emojis mm. so that you can see exactly what my expressions are? It's not the same. Like you said, it's, it's got to be handwritten. It's not the same anymore. If you handwrite it with some sloppiness, it'll be more meaningful. Sometimes I handwrite things, and then if I forget how to spell words, I'll just scribble it. Because <laughs> if I don't know how to spell a word like necessary, I don't actually spell that word Did out. you spell it out with your hand? No. <laughs> necessary. Yeah, and then sometimes I'm just like, mm, I don't want to use that word anymore. I'm just going to use, is it really needed? <laughs> oh. But anyways, back to kind of what we were talking about. Um, if there's anything we can do right now is just to remember to be kind to one another. Be kind to yourself, especially with your mental health and your well-being. Even with your nutrition, whatever mm. you eat, like stop focusing on, oh my God, I'm not going to lose that extra three pounds I just gained. It's okay. Be kind to yourself. Be kind to one another.